Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a review of Awkward Silence by Hinako Takanaga. This is a six volume series put out by Sublime. Um, I got the first four volumes of this series for free from a friend of mine and I had heard of it but I had never really thought to pick it up and never really cared to pick it up. Um, but I'm so glad that I got this because it is fantastic. This is a really, really cute Yaoi series focused on these two here. Um, this is, I just, oh, Satoru. I just looked at his name. Satoru and Keigo. Satoru is an art, um, visual arts, you know, mostly painting and drawing, I think, um, guy at in this high school, and he has a crush on the uh, one of the most popular baseball players at his school. Uh, they're in the same grade and you basically start off right at the beginning with the baseball player confessing to him and they start dating. So you don't have any of the bullshit leading up to, you know, oh my God, is he going to be gay? Do I like, why do I like boys? Whatever. It's just like, no, he asks him out and he goes, oh, Oh, he likes me. Oh, I, I like him. And they start dating. And they're adorable. Um, so the main premise of this, based on the title, Awkward Silence, is that um, Satoru is very expressionless. He doesn't show his emotions on his face. He's very just kind of quiet and reserved. But what I love about this is that he's not one-dimensional. Usually when you have that quiet, reserved character, they're either like overly, um, like the internal monologue is, is overly angry or whatever, and they just don't show and they're trying to hide their emotions or they're just flat. This character is so cute. He is adorable. He just doesn't, his face just, ju just doesn't express his emotions. He has emotions. He has a full range of emotions. It just doesn't show on his face. And so, you know, you have this relationship with, you know, these two people who are trying to, they're also high school students. They're, they're, they're teenagers, right? So they're already dealing with just trying to be in a relationship, especially a gay relationship, but add on the fact that he can't really tell what he's thinking. And it takes them a long time to grow as a couple and learn about each other and, and, and how they express love and it's so cute and then you have these two student council president and i think he's like the secretary or the vice president or something whatever but he's the childhood friend of satoru um now while there is zero problematic behavior from what i remember between the main couple there is a little bit of iffy consent between these two um however nowhere near as bad as other yaoi. Like, even even with it, it's not terrible. Also, in terms of explicitness, um, there are, uh, it does have the explicit content warning, and there are explicit scenes in this. However, they are all heavily censored, and usually they have clothes on. Um, so even though there are, there are sex scenes, there's usually either blankets or clothing blocking them, and they don't last very long. Um, it's a lot of like fade to black kind of moments. So it's not as explicit as it could be, um, which, you know, is fine because they're high school s students. Um, but just just to note that, that it really isn't like a super hardcore explicit series if, if that's something that puts you off. Um, it's very cute. It's very loving and the uh the art now that i'm looking at this first volume the art gets much better by the end of it um but yeah i mean it's it's great i remember now flipping through this first volume that this first volume is like a roller coaster ride of an entire yaoi series put into one volume and it was because i believe the author originally it was a one shot and then she was asked to write it as a longer series and um so it just kind of, like, I feel like she didn't think it was going to last very long. So she piled everything into the first volume and then was like, oh, I guess I'm writing more. And not to say that the rest of the series is uninteresting because it isn't. But I just remember reading the first volume and going, okay, what? 
everything happened. Every, there was a rival and there was, a, I'm pretty sure, the sports festival. And like there's just a bunch of stuff happening in the first volume. Um, but it continues all the way until um, after high school, which is nice, which is not a spoiler because they have diplomas on the final volume there. But um, yeah, it's a nice like full story about these couples and it's wonderful satoru's parents are hilarious and excellent um yeah i really love this highly recommend it i'm so glad my friend gave this to me because i would never have picked this up otherwise and it was so good um yeah if you're looking for a really cute high school yaoi series with very little problematic behavior um that's just about a, a relationship that's growing and, and um, very like there's drama, but it's not it's not super dramatic. Like it really is. These two clearly love each other. They're not interested in anybody else. And so anybody who does come along doesn't last very long um, because they're like, oh, yeah, no, I can't break through this force field. That is their love. Um, but yeah, um, highly recommend Awkward Silence. There's some really nice color pages in the beginning. That one's interesting. Um, but some really nice color pages in the beginning of all of them, as most Sublime works have. Um, and yeah, friendship, family, romance, adorableness. What more can you ask for? Thanks for watching.